Thank you. Here we have it. Literally, just heard the doorbell ring. Saw this. Thank you so much to Rado Supply for uh, getting this to me as early as possible. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about this. You can see a little bit of the bike in there, but not too much. But yeah, now uh, we're gonna open it up. All right guys, so we now have the bike in the garage, in my uh, you know workshop, workstation here. So now we're gonna open it. Uh, first time I've ever seen one in person. I've literally only seen like like little pictures of it. Never seen any videos of it. So yeah, here we go. Here it is. Polished silver frame, two and a half inch wide tires, which are also um, tubeless ready. So we can just get them converted to tubeless and uh, they'll, be, they'll be set. And here's the seat. I thought it was like attached into someone somewhere, but it's actually not. So we're gonna put this here for now. It is a different seat. You can actually see the PK Ripper symbol right there. Um, looks pretty cool. And so we're gonna put that here. Um, let's see. These are the handlebars. Oh, I already see the SRAM level T hydraulic brakes, which I'm very excited about. These are also the new power wing bars for this. I might actually keep these in here because they're attached to the um, rims and you know, discs. So I'm gonna keep that in there for now. So I'm gonna pull all those when I pull out the whole bike. Um, here we have the new stem. Um, this here, which is probably uh, pedals. Um, what else? I don't know, pedals or something, whatever comes with it. Uh, but those there. You know what? Just to save you guys all the, you know, frustration watching me not know how to pull my own bike out, we're gonna we're gonna come back when we actually figure out how to do this. So yeah. All right, now we're gonna start taking off some cardboard pieces. Oh, there's a vet. Can't forget about that. signature over here the man himself Harry Kramer um, and yeah here we have the new stem too the new SE stem there we go that was satisfying uh gonna put all this here in the box and look at that that's attention to detail right there you see that that's really nice all right now let's see four pieces off Look at that. Those stickers look really cool. Sorry. And these cranes are actually the ones that they're used on the PK River, uh, the original race bike for Alright guys, so now we're gonna put on the bars. So they're under the stem first. Really liking the new design on the stem. Uh, oh, here I just noticed it has the Perry Kramer on the stem cap. It has the Perry Kramer right here. But yeah, also it has an FSA, I think it's FSA, uh, integrated headset, which is also new on here. Um, yeah, really, really cool stuff because it's all new parts for the most part. Um, check these out. Surely. One eternity later. Alright, so we'll put this here, we're gonna put the cap here. Alright, so now that we have that done, we're gonna put the bars, we're gonna unpackage the bars now. Oh, there it is. Oh. <laughs> All right, here, 
definitely not gonna touch the brakes. That's something when you're building a bike, you definitely don't wanna do, cause you could mess up. If you're not connected to something, you could definitely mess them up. Oh, looks like that's attached to something. All right, now we're going to take this off. And there it is. Never ridden with the, this bar before, but I'm excited to. All right, now we're going to put the bar on. Make sure it's straight. Almost done with the bars. guys we now have the bars on these feel really cool i really like the look of them and actually i i on the video that i was watching um they said it was like i can't tell if these are actually different let's see let me look at my block slide these do look a little different than yeah those are definitely taller okay i couldn't tell at first but yeah no i could tell there's a big difference these are a lot taller but yeah now we have the bars on and uh now we're gonna get the rest Oh, you know, the wheel and other stuff on, so, yeah. All right, so, uh, I now have the front wheel on. I didn't want to bore you guys with all the details and footage, so, but we have the SRAM Level T Hydraulic on the front now. Um, we have the pedals on, and now we have to take off the grips up here, and we have to put on the seat. So, let's take these off. I've heard good things about Oakley grips, so, also, here's a good view of the new Level T brake. Feels really good actually. Um, I do like the front. I do like front brakes too. Just to stop better. All right, so now we're gonna take this off. And I already see. Hopefully, gripped is on. Here we go. Oh, that feels good. It's a good feeling grip. Um, that's the left one. Now we gotta take off the right grip. Adjust this a little bit just to make it feel. I like my brakes really sharp actually. Um, I like them really tight too. Jeez! There we go. Might have just cut myself a little bit, but that's okay. We're unboxing the new bike. I'll pick that up later, don't worry. <laughs> so there we have it. We have the handlebars, grip, uh, brakes, they're all, all good now. Um, now we get to put on the seat, which I'm excited for because I, I think it's, I've never really seen this seat before. So, here we go. Let's take this off. Now, what's really important on the seat is the grip on it. And I will definitely be doing some nice combos with this because this is good grip. Seems pretty durable too, so. Happy about that. So now we're gonna put it in. Here we have the quick release C clamp. Um, I like these actually. Some people don't because they said they cut their shorts, but I don't really know how you can do that if you have it in all the way. So here we go. There you know you have 
have to slam it down. But I would say, if you're gonna slam it down, be careful, cause uh, some, you know, sometimes I've seen my friends' bikes, they keep theirs down for a while and they don't, um, you know, ever take it out. And it can get stuck. So if you're really gonna do that, I take it out often just to make sure it's loose and stuff. But just so you know, just be aware of that. That could happen. But there we go. Um, definitely need to tighten this more. Okay. Oh. Gonna make sure this is extra tight so when we're tap dancing on the seat, uh, the seat doesn't move, <laughs> make us fall. So, um, let me look it over real quick. Also, something that um, we did do uh, is I loosened the chain because it came really, really tight. So. When they send it uh, over to the dealers, the chain doesn't flop around on the frame and get a bunch of grease on it. But now, I'm going to take this off, finish it in piece. Oh, there we go. That was satisfying. pick up a lot of stuff and if I don't mom's not gonna be happy so gotta make sure I do that um, but there you have it that is the 2020 PK Ripper um Terry Kramer uh, got a signature right there um yeah really like it especially I uh, really like the black and chrome and really think uh be a good addition to the garage so yeah and of course i cannot forget rival supply for making this all happen Rival supply they have an excellent website they have se bikes that you can buy so if you need any se bikes go to them if you need um custom sticker kits you can go to rival supply if you need free wheels sprockets that are you know definitely cooler than the average sprocket they're reflective and stuff like that but i definitely go there uh, they sell tons of accessories for your bike that will really make it look cool and uh, make it different from all the other ones so yeah thank you so much round supply if you ever have a question make sure you always message them because they always answer they have great service and they're just all around really great company so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video